Alright, so today I'm going to be ranking all the game passes in Emergency Hamburg from worst to best. So stay tuned till the end of the video to see what I think the best game pass in the game is. But anyway, make sure you subscribe and let's go. Alright, so we're here in the dealership for the first game pass, which is, in my opinion, the worst game pass in the game. And that is the quad. Now, I'm going to explain why I think that, okay? But I think it's kind of obvious. So this car, okay, 250 Robux for this car. It's really expensive and it's just a really bad car. And here's why. The first reason, only one person can sit on this thing. You can't take another passenger. So if you've got any friends, they're not going to be able to sit on the car with you. And secondly, it's just really slow. I mean, it's really slow, low fuel capacity, low speed. It's just, it's just really bad for 250 Robux. I mean, you can get another game pass that's way better for 250 Robux. I don't know why you'd buy the quads. And yeah, I just think they aren't really worth it right now at all. Oh yeah, they go off road. But do you really find yourself going off road often in this game? Probably not. Like, it's really unlikely and all cars can go off road anyway, as long as it's not over rocks. But yeah, that's my reasoning. And that's why the quad is the worst game pass in the game, in my opinion right now. Right now, the next game pass on the list is the athlete game pass. So basically what this game pass is, uh, it's 200 Robux and it lets you get double stamina basically. So I can sprint for twice as long as I normally would be able to. Um, for 200 Robux, I mean, it's better than quads, but still it's not really worth that 200. I mean, that, that's a lot of Robux for just for the ability to sprint for a little longer. I don't think it's worth that personally. It's an okay game pass, but yeah, I just don't think it's worth it, which is why it's the second one on the list. A bit better than quads, but yeah, paying 200 for the ability to run twice as far just isn't really worth it. I mean, that is an outrageous price uh, for that ability. So yeah, I would just say that this is the next game pass on the list. But anyway, just very small one. And you know, there's not much content. All it does is give you more stamina. It doesn't add anything to the game. It doesn't make your experience better. It's literally just, you know, if you want to run further. So yeah, that's my verdict. All right. So the next game pass on the list is the convertible vehicles game pass. So personally, I'm not a huge fan of convertible vehicles, which is why I've put it quite low, but I'm not saying it's terrible. But the thing is, it's just for one team, which is civilian, and you only get a few cars and it costs 350 Robux, which is pretty bad. So let me show you here. So you get BMW one cabriolet. Okay. Uh, it looks like this. This one's free, comes included with the game pass for free. And yeah, it looks like this. I mean, I guess it's okay. Um, the good thing about this game pass is that the car's having to interiors, which you're not going to get that with any other, uh, you know, game pass or anything, but you can only drive these under the civilian team. And yeah, there's only like three of them in total. So it's not very good value for 350 Robux. Um, whereas, you know, other ga other car game passes are priced the same and have way more content. Uh, and I'll get onto those soon, but they're ranked higher for that reason. But yeah, I mean, sure. I mean, they could have at least animated the steering wheel, I feel like, but you know, it just stays still. And uh, yeah, you get like three cars. Um, let me show you the other ones. So you can see we got the uh, Mercedes GMA Roadster. And uh, yeah, this one is definitely nicer, but obviously it costs 200,000 euros. Uh, it goes quite fast, but yeah, again, um, it's uh, it can only be d driven on the civilian team. So it's not really worth it if you want to play police or fire or, you know, ADAC, something like that. And then obviously the last one is the Porsche 911 uh, Cabriolet with an open roof. So it's just like the one I have, but obviously like this. And yeah, you literally get three vehicles for 350 Robux. I mean, that I just feel like that's a huge kind of waste. I mean, you get three cars only can be used on one team. There's the electric vehicles game pass price the same and it's way better and I will show you that soon. But yeah, in my opinion, it's just lacking a lot of cars. If, if they wanted to make this worth it, they'd need to add, you know, at least two more. I just think most people aren't a big fan of convertible vehicles. So that's why I've just put this quite low on the list. Uh, but that's just my opinion. You might like it and maybe that's why this game pass might be, you know, better for you. But personally, yeah, it's just not worth it right now for me. Anyway, this next game pass on the list is Crime Boss. So I've put this game pass um, at this position because I think that while it is good, it is lacking some features, especially for 400 Robux. 400 is a lot. It's um, definitely up there with the most expensive game passes. You do get a handful of features, but I feel like you might enjoy some other game passes a bit more for cheaper. So let me show you what it does. So if I rob something here, for example, so, you know, let's just say the tool shop. If I break into this real quick, you'll be able to see that I, on the criminal app, I have this toggle criminal gear. Okay, so when I click that, you can see I get a free uh, kind of vest and head gear and yeah that is one of the features so another feature of the crime boss game pass is when you sell things to the dealer you get 25 percent more money for those things that you sell and without it you know obviously you just get the standard rate so yeah it gives you a 25 percent discount on things you want to buy and it also gives you a 25 percent increase on the things you want to sell so let me actually go show you with the dealer here all right he's right here look and you're gonna see that when i open the menu uh, i actually also get access to a sniper okay now this sniper is exclusive to crime boss you can only get it if you have the game pass
pass uh, is 7,500 euros. Very expensive, but obviously, you know, everything else here is discounted by 25%. And the stuff you can sell, like jewelry and gold, you get an extra 25% for selling them. So yeah, this is gonna help you grind way quicker on this game. You're gonna get paid a lot more money. But personally, I think that there are other game passes which are more fun and cheaper. So that's why it's this spot on the list. But overall, I think it's a great game pass and I definitely suggest you get this if you're into kind of, um, you know, being a criminal all the time and uh, robbing stuff and just grinding out the game. But yeah, pretty cool features, pretty good. I'd say the value is quite good. Maybe the price could be a little lower, maybe 350 instead of 400. But you know what? I'll take 400. That's an okay price. So the next game pass on the list is at the car dealership and it's electric vehicles, okay? Now, electric vehicles, I'm going to say is one of the best value game passes in the whole game right now. So this game pass grants you access to basically like two or three electric cars on every single team. So that's Citizen Fire, Police and Car Mechanic. So you get the Wolfsburg Discovery included for free. Uh, let me show you this. So now the good thing about electric vehicles is that they accelerate really quickly and they cost almost nothing to fill up like on electricity. So you see they've got really fast acceleration and yeah obviously the cost of uh, electricity is very low uh, compared to fuel cars. Like it costs you like maybe 900 euros to fill up a um, you know a fuel tank but with electric cars um yeah it's really cheap uh, but yeah let me show you the other cars that you get so this one's free it's the wolfsburg discovery and you also get the you know notably the tesla model s uh, very popular car uh, this is probably if you're going to get this game pass this is probably what you're going to be driving i assume but you can see I'm, I'm only on six kilowatts right now so basically empty and i can fill this up for just 173 euros it's really good price otherwise it would cost me like 900 if it was fuel so you can see got that filled up recharged um and yeah it's just really good price so it's going to save you money in the long term and also look at the acceleration on this thing like it accelerates pretty quickly so yeah very good very good um i think it's a great game pass obviously much better than the convertibles because it's on literally every single team in the game um it's on adac police fire and civilian and they all have their own different liveries and stuff like that really cool but anyway definitely an amazing value game pass for just 350 robux quite a reasonable price i'd say so these final two game passes are great if you're into police stuff and being a police officer because these last two game passes are both on the police team and they're both really good value. So the next game pass coming in on my list is the SEK team and this is number two. So you may be wondering why I've put this at number two and that is simply because of the price. All right, so don't get me wrong, SEK is a great game pass and in terms of, you know, the best game pass in the game, it's definitely SEK, okay? It has the most features, the best stuff um, and it, yeah, it is the best one but the price is what's putting it at number two on the list because most players aren't willing to spend 800 robux on you know this game pass and um yeah and i get that so that's why it's number two but anyway in terms of features it gets you a 1.3 times payment multiplier so you're going to make 1.3 times as much so that's an extra 30 percent and you get 50 percent body armor so obviously as you know the sck stuff if i start the shift i mean yeah you know bullets aren't coming through this thing man <laughs> yeah you get some really strong armor you also get in the locker room an exclusive sniper so you can only use this sniper on the sck team like it's it's exclusive to the sck team can't use this on any of the other police teams and yeah you get all this stuff and you also get the m4 carbine um for no xp so all this stuff taser police tape m4 carbine all this stuff you get you don't, don't need any xp requirement for that so sek just unlocks that all automatically and now onto the most important bit okay the coolest bit of this game pass is you get exclusive armored vehicles okay so look at this you got the armored truck for 7000 xp okay this thing is a beast it's crazy and you also got the survivor r which comes free with the game pass uh, no xp required and yeah this thing is also like a, some huge truck just some huge armored vehicles you get these two vehicles with the game pass only with the game pass and you get all of that for 800 robux so yeah i'm not gonna lie this is a good game pass i think it's good value um it is it is expensive and i, I get that so obviously not everyone can get this game pass but it is a good game pass okay you get like more more money exclusive vehicles exclusive guns exclusive uniform it's yeah it, it's it's definitely a good game pass and definitely has the most features in the game but anyway moving on to the number one spot on the list so this is the undercover police game pass now i've ranked this number one on the list because it's a great price and it comes with great features so let me walk you through it so obviously the most important thing about this is that you can just dress up normally like any civilian and this is the reason this game pass is number one on the list um i mean it's just so fun to go around uh 
uh, with you know other people robbing stuff and just them thinking you know you're just another criminal but you're actually police and you can just arrest them and that's what makes this game pass so fun to mess around with not just that and the price is so good it's only 350 robux okay same price as the you know car packs and stuff like that and you don't just get that you get the uniform and you get a 20 percent higher shift payout and now one of the best features every single vehicle is undercover so unmarked completely they're all just like look like normal civilian cars so let me just spawn in this one for example and you can see it's just a normal car you know at least you think it is until you turn on the lights and now it's a police car and uh yeah that is just like one of the best things about this game pass man the ability to just disguise yourself as a civilian it's really fun to just mess around with in servers public servers you know go and arrest people see their reaction <laughs> but yeah it is the best value game pass in my opinion uh, for all those reasons okay especially the low price the uh, you know the really fun features of being able to go you know in undercover but yeah that is going to be all the game passes in emergency hamburg ranked let me know do you agree with the ranking would you change anything let me know in the comments thank you for watching subscribe if you found this helpful and goodbye